The training of One Punch Man continues today with some massive plastic surgery because we're... ugly. But there is hope because One Punch Man lost his own anime hair when he, when he did his training. So now I figure that ceremonially, if we want to follow canon, we need to make ourselves look slightly more like One Punch Man. So many hairs to choose from, but we're gonna go with there we go but he's st he's too somber we need him to look more joyous i think a nice wide head would work head shouldn't be too big right normal sized head his neck could be slightly larger but not by too much he could get all brolic but i, I like him with a thin neck better that's perfect one punch man at a slightly wider jaw we'll give him completely neutral we need to make him look as completely neutral as possible except not have lips that big not too much but that's somewhat better that's ba- uh, okay, no. He's starting to look more normal. No. It's weird because anime characters don't have noses, but he's- uh, I don't- I'll give him an unsexy nose. He still looks weird. He needs- that's better, okay. Yes? No? Yes? Mm. Well, that just looks terrifying. I like that, though. That's kind of funny. Perfect. No. No, he looks like he belongs in the Elder Scrolls. I like this thing, though. Mm, he definitely looks like the Elder Scrolls now. Holy shit, this looks normal, actually. I need to make it in some way abnormal, though. That actually looks a lot more like the real One Punch Man. I mean, like, there's something off, but this- I hit randomize and it just all of a sudden became- I mean, he needs to be slightly darker, I, though, I think. I think One Punch Man was- Holy crap, look at how much stronger we got! We are way stronger! We didn't have abs and chest muscles like that before. Look at the biceps on this guy, he's way stronger now. Okay. He just needs some silly eyes now. You know what? One smaller neck? And that works for me. Uh, he is- Actually, he's he's not that bad looking. He's he's pretty good looking. He's not as meme -y as he- but we can always get plastic surgery again. I'm satisfied. I think that this looks like a better One Punch Man. Okay, we are now born as the real One Punch Man if he were not looking like anime at all. Holy crap, he got way stronger. Let's check out our stats. So, I've done some shit. So pretty much now our stats are 52 strength, 75 toughness. I mean, Jesus Christ, if there was ever a good toughness, it would be that. 42 dexterity, so we're attacking fast enough. The main limiter is just the mechanics of how martial arts works. He needs to hit martial arts 40, and then I think more shit will open up for him. Athletics is great. All of his stats are great. It's just a matter of the fact that he's alone in combat, so we're getting him some decent gear. Uh, I mean, I don't have any super cape or anything like that for One Punch Man. But today, we want to go on an Avengers quest, because we lost the torso in the, in the Foglands, and we're going to head over there. Because I have a few, I mean, I have a few things set up. I'll just show you really quick on my base. If we can just speed over. I did buy one small house in the hub. And it, its purpose was only to hold iron. I have backpacks of iron I need to hold on me. But I won't bring these with me to the fog because it's going to get me killed. I need to be very, very careful. And we're going to avenge the torso now by training on fogmen. I just want to get a lot of kills um, I want to see what this character is capable of against a lot of numbers of foes, and then- Oh, we are out of money. We'll need to- <laughs> we'll need to fix that in some way. We might need to mine a little bit more. But we'll head over to the Foglands, and we'll just kill as many Fogmen as we can. To the Fog! Away! Actually, right before we go, I just want to get a little bit of basic lockpicking training, because if we should get tied up by the Fogmen, a little bit of training here may go a long way for us. It can vastly increase your toughness to get slowly eaten away by these people, but I don't want it to come to that. And we got 12 lock picking. that's enough for me to feel justified. I'm going to the fog to avenge the torso. Now to give you a sense of how fast and strong we are, we're running at 24 miles per hour. Are those... No, those aren't hungry bandits. We're not gonna go back for them. But we're very fast, we're fast enough to escape from the fog, man. I think you need about 22... 22 miles per hour to be able to reliably escape from them. So, no matter what- Oh, beak things! Shit. Are they gonna kill me? I might have to go on a detour right here. Stop at the hives. Nope, it looks like they didn't catch up to him. He's fast enough, he's good. Now today, my friends, we're on a quest for vengeance from true evil. Although it's a natural evil, it is evil. Cannibalism. 
The fog men are here. Now, we don't want to go to any of the death yards. We're, it will be a death sentence if we end up in the death yards. We'll need to pick the lock. We'll, we would get out. We might even gain toughness, but it's not a, a risk I want to take. So we're just going to see if we can find some fog men on a patrol. Distract them. Fight them until we gain a little bit of experience. And then slowly pick off their numbers. If we can get to the center of this, we might make it to Mongrel, and then I'll take Beep. I will take Beep as a companion. Okay, we've got some fog men right here. Surprisingly, they're not attacking. Fog princes? I'll attack them anyway. These are probably way stronger than the rest of the fog men, but I still want to see if they're a match for me, because fog men are notoriously weak. It would be good training targets for this guy. Now, as long as more don't join in, should be alright, but I have to be careful not to get knocked out around these guys or they will eat me. Okay, I'm taking hits. These are probably the strongest among the Fogmen. Not exactly the foes I wanted to go against, but we're winning. We're winning the fight. I've never even looted these guys because I've always been swarmed by more as soon as I've killed some of them. And our left arm has been incapacitated. Wow. They managed to do a lot to me there. Some of them had blades, but most of these guys have blunts. Fog heavies. I don't think I ever went against these guys. Oh no, that's their arms, my bad. My arms are completely fine, I don't know why I said that. Did we not- we knocked off a guy's arm in the middle of this combat too. Where is it? Where is your arm? I cannot find his arm. Wait, is the other one going to contact the others? I have not seen how this dynamic works. He might be going to the death yards to go get more help. Alright, well we did discover Mong- where are you going, One Punch Man? <laughs> where the hell are you going? Okay, well, Mongrel is back there in the distance. Problem about this area is that I can't... Okay, there we are. Kill that Fog Prince. And let's see what his loot is. Fog Prince head. Wow, that's worth 6,000 cats. I'll take that. These guys' loot is really good. I must have picked up a decent bounty on one of these guys. Okay, we'll grab that. And everything else. Okay, we're going to have to start dealing with more patrols. Are these... Fog heavies. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let these ones pass, if I can. It sounds like, though, that they're cannibalizing somebody else. I was hoping to find one of their patrols in here. But I'm finding mostly heavies, and I do not want to go down in there. That's one of the death yards. Now, I don't want to have to babysit Beep while I'm down here, but I do want to leave here with Beep. He would be a good companion. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a robot companion. Or Beep as a companion. I would gladly take Beep along for another trip. Maybe even a mechanized Beep. In fact, you know what? Let's go to Mongrel or stay near Mongrel just in case. Because we want to have somewhere where we can rest up while we're fighting these Fogmen. I'll fight these heavies too. Oh, whoops. I don't actually need that. I don't actually even want this in combat. Let's take these things down. Uh, you know, no, use your fists. We gotta see. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at all the enemies there. Christ. We do not want to pass out around these guys. <laughs> that would not be safe. Okay, two mongrel. Let's fight them with the guards, not away from the guards. That's too many at once. Hard to believe that someone would build a city right in the middle of all of these fog people. <laughs> like, how do they? How do they trade? How do they import goods without people getting cannibalized on their way in? Well, let's sell this f uh, fog prince's head and then buy us some slightly better martial arts gear. I think this will do the trick. All right, we're going to pick up a decent bounty for this Fog Prince head, and unfortunately, I think that's about all that I want from this guy. I need martial arts rags, and he has ninja stuff for a stealth effect, so not exactly what I was looking for. I will take a head wrap, because I could use this. We're going to need to find something else, though, because it just doesn't fit this. It doesn't fit the One Punch Man vibe. He needs to have his bald head showing gloriously in the sun. And we'll just have a rest here tonight. We need to rest up, fight Fogmen, rest up more, eventually recruit Beep, and then repeat. This seems like an awesome way to train. We've got Fogmen right here who are constantly at war with the Shinobi guarding the city. We're gonna get a lot of experience, and we are one-shotting Fogmen here. So all it takes is one hit to kill them, or take them down. We just destroyed that guy's left arm with one punch. Crap. This is exactly the type of enemy we need. Is he gaining decent experience, though, with it? I know he's gonna gain at a slower rate because he's in good gear. But if he can get through these combats without getting hurt, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, he's still getting hurt, but I mean, you know, he has the town guard nearby. We'll see if we can recruit Beep to just be back up here. 
I don't know, maybe we need to seek out tougher enemies. It seems like I accidentally committed a crime in town, so the shinobi guard are actually after me. Which is okay, because they're decent, worthwhile- No, 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 don't let the fogman take me, though. Okay, good, the shinobi guard are probably gonna arrest me, which is fine, because I can get more- Oh, fuck, no, 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 don't leave me out here. Don't leave me out here. I've got second- Ooh. Shit. Opened by the fogman. This is where beep would come in handy, but we don't have beep. Alright, let's just get back to town. <laughs> They're gonna beat me up, but... It's fine. Honestly, maybe I should just start fighting the shinobi guard, because they're stronger. we It's the only way to get strong enough to be able to take on any evil. Now, to me, this is weird. If you commit a crime, they'll beat you up, but then they'll consider that you are, like, fighting the guards anytime you try to defend yourself. Even if they knock you out and they don't take you to jail, so the bounty on your head just keeps going up and up. And then they get more and more pissed at you, so I guess I need to leave Mongrel now until the bounty is cleared. Expires in 79 hours, so I think I just need to escape the city, because otherwise there's no real... I mean, I'm committing a crime just by standing up now, it's... Am I committing a crime? Yeah, they're, they're gonna want me, they're gonna want to take me in, and they're gonna say that I'm committing... Okay, so I need to get out of Mongrel, this is very bad. I need to just escape for a few days. I think I need to seek out... Stronger opponents, not these fogmen. I think the, the revenge is futile. We're going north and east. And fortunately, we are fast enough to escape all of the fogmen now without any problem. And that's it, we leave the foglands behind. And it looks like this holy outpost was overtaken by fogmen, but we've got a holy paladin, or a high paladin, fending them off right here. Don't know who will win this fight, but there's a lot of fogmen over here, and I'm hoping that they take down the holy paladin. Uh, or I can kidnap him because he actually serves as one of the best martial arts training dummies in the game. If I could get this guy down, I'd be in real luck. Like, if we kidnapped this guy, we could get the highest level of martial arts easily. Well, we've managed to face off the Hungry Bandits, the Fogmen, and the Holy Nation all against one another. While staying alive with a negative, negative 38 on our stomach. Alright, the High Paladin is so close to being knocked out, we gotta kidnap this guy though. I hope he gets a hit and- Yes! He's been taken down! Okay, we're going to kidnap him? Because he's gonna be such a high priority target. Okay, I'm kidnapping the High Paladin. There he goes, flying through the air! Let's take off all of his stuff so that he doesn't get back up and kill me because he is a fairly strong enemy. Yeah, we just have to avoid all these Holy Nation outposts because they won't be too happy that I kidnapped a High Paladin. And avoid the holy military base and the holy farm. None of those would be good. Alright, we've managed to kidnap this guy back to the hub. I'm just gonna put him down and he's gonna- Oh. Didn't expect that. Uh... Now, we need to make sure that he stays alive. So that I can train my martial arts on him. But... <laughs> he's- We don't want him to be doing well. In any way. Shape or form at all. He is gonna be- Is he playing dead right now? I'd be playing dead if I were him. Now, he's probably gonna want to escape from us. Uh, my job is gonna be to find a guardless katana to cut off his limbs, because that's really all that we can do with him. I'm gonna kidnap him, but I don't want him to get too much stronger, and I want to make sure that I get stronger before he does. Right now, he's actually resting, so I don't really like this. I could sleep next to him, but I'm gonna need to have eyes on this guy for a long time. Um, we'll see if we can get rid of his stuff, too. I'm just gonna loot him. He simply does not have the energy to keep moving. We are gonna farm this guy, though, for a lot of experience, because that's what you do with <laughs> the Holy Nation High Paladins. They're some of the strongest enemies. Really, it's mainly just the legs, so we'll give him anything that covers the arms, but not the legs. Now, the problem with this guy is that he's gonna keep on wanting to try to escape until, until we take out everything from him, so we'll just keep on first aiding him, and not his legs. We want his legs to give out. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Every single time that they put him down, he wants to escape, but he can't. It's so sad, but it's so righteous for how evil these people are. Not that I'm much better. This is actually perfect because his right leg is going down, so he's gonna lose his right leg, but the rest of his body will be okay. We'll make our house private, we'll put him in a bed in it, and I'm just gonna start punching his body to train my martial arts. Set dismemberment to frequent. Okay, he lost the leg. I don't know what happened, but I think when I threw him out of the home, he lost his leg. So we now need to patch him up. Uh, let's just put him down for a sec. Oh, uh, wait, no. Go back in my house. My house is private. No one come in here. 
Please, give me some privacy. I feel- this feels like the Mr. Moon playthrough with the wa- with the Candleman. Jesus Christ. I love Mr. Moon. The next stop is Squin to get a bed to keep him healing in. Okay, I don't seem to be doing it right because the paladin got out of the bed. But we've got him in a sleeping bag. Maybe if I put him in a real bed, he'll then get away better. But this guy is gonna be a punching bag. Yeah, we can totally hit him while he's asleep. So then all we need to do is this and then... I guess we'll first aid him? And we'll just keep on using this. Wow, he's a literal punching bag now. This is cr this is fucked up. This is so fucked up. But, like I said, ignore morality, play Kenshi. Okay, for this exact method, I used a video by Garichi because it looked awesome. I'll link it below. It's the coolest hack I've ever seen in the game. We're just gonna dismantle this and we'll try to get a house and a bed so that we can hopefully keep this guy slightly more securely locked up. Just want to say hi, Paladin. You have made the best friend and prisoner. This is kind of fucked up, but like he's... You know. It's too bad we can't figure out what his toughness is because it's gonna be rising a lot very soon. When I get you home, when I get you home tonight, I'm gonna make love to ya all night long. You high paladin. Okay, I'm gonna put you down in my camp bed. This is like a scene out of Reservoir Dogs. Christ, um, I'm gonna love ya. Oh wait, not with that sword. Don't use that. No, that's too much. We don't really need all that. I'm gonna make love to ya! I'm gonna cripple your stomach! Right, let's see how much more, uh... No, stop training on him now. We do want to first aid him. We want to make sure that his stomach and chest don't give out. Uh, right arm... Uh, we could keep his arms... Maybe. Well, we don't want him to lose his limbs when we're fighting against him, so we'll not heal any of his limbs. We'll just let him stay like that. And we'll wait until he gets better. See if he gets up. And I want to see if he leaves the house. When I get home, I'm gonna make love to my crippled kidnappy. This is a little fucked up. Except it's a video game. Ignore morality, play Kenshi. Who gives a shit it's a video game? You look so good in there. Somehow it's so romantic. I'm going to farm him for XP and he'll be the reason I become the true One Punch Man. Now I'm gonna make love to ya. And I should get a lot of experience for this now. Every single time he hits him he's getting... Yeah, that's an ass ton of experience and he's... Wow, it's really on the martial arts. Okay, so we'll keep him around like this for a while. We gotta make sure that he doesn't die, though. We gotta give him first aid. Because you don't want your guy to die on you in this kind of situation. We might take off another leg. I don't think it really makes a difference anymore here. He's cr Okay, so we'll just let him recover and we'll slowly, like, research. Let him recover and then as he gains toughness, it should be harder to kill him. And I should get higher strength levels. You know, maybe we'll even do something nice for him at the end. I'm gonna give it to you real good! And yet at the same time, it feels empty, you know? This is everything that we need for our grind, but it just... It's not coming as... It's not coming as sweetly, it's not coming as quickly. I think we might take out some... Like, don't get me wrong, this guy's fucked up and evil. Like, the things that the Holy Nation does are screwed up anyway. So it's a taste of their own medicine. But, I think we need to do more good. We need to be a hero for fun. So, let's put away our fucked up evil ways, and let's see if we can take out some bosses. We're gonna look for the Dust King boss, because I've been looking for this guy, and he's supposed to be in the border zone. And he's supposed to be located right around here in this unknown tower, so I think we're gonna just head over there and see if we have the martial arts prowess yet to take out a few of his guys. So supposedly they're in this tower. It's incredibly suspicious. Uh, I don't know why you would go to all of this effort to wall in a tower or what good a wall would do you, but I do know that we're pretty decent against Dust Bandits. So, this guy shouldn't be too bad because he's, like, early to mid-game boss, so. I, I think our stats are there. We don't have any other people, but... Can we... can we come in? Do we need to pick the lock? Really? Alright, we'll pick the lock to this giant gate because there is a lock to be picked and it wouldn't just be un remotely located on the inside. That makes perfect sense. Okay, and we picked the lock to the gate. That is 
my favorite thing. Who's this guy? I'm One Punch Man. Oh fuck, I just got hit in the chest with a sword. All right, let's take out the ranged guy first. And let's just check on him. Oh, shit. That's a lot of you. I didn't expect you all to come out right at first. You must be the dust boss. Well, it is, or the dust king. Shit, he's big. Christ, this is the perfect enemy for Sayatama. Uh, we're gonna spend the entire fight dodging, but if we somehow manage to get through that, we might be able to get a hit on I wonder what happens if they kill me. Let's just see how he does. He is in good gear now, so he should be... He should last a while in this fight. I don't think he'll win it. Somehow. I think he'll do okay, though. And if nothing else, it'll train our other stats to get into this boss fight. Wow, look at everything that he's dodged. He must have dodged hundreds of attacks by now. Great, okay, he's got a few of them. When he gets in one hit, he's, like, done with the fight. He got three people with that last hit. Holy cow. And he's hitting, like, over 100 on some of these guys. 128, 60... I'll slow it down, because I want to see what he's doing exactly. The Dust King, what has the Dust King got? 35,000 cat bounty now. Whoa. We've hardly taken any damage. <laughs> he gets in, like, one hit every few seconds. Christ, look at this. He spends 10 minutes dodging, then he gets one hit, knocking out, like, five guys. Just wait till the dexterity goes up. This was a way better way to train stats than what we were doing before. I like this, I like this. Even toughness is going up too. Okay, he is starting to take a lot of hits, and remember, as he takes hits, he gets worse in combat, because the injuries tend to slow him down. But it looks like we got the Dust King. Oh shit, we did! He's dead! He's dead! What the- well, is he dead? He might not be dead. Let's loot him. Okay, we're gonna take all of his shit because I guess he's got good gear. Uh, eh, it's decent. This is really, really, really valuable. Model number Mark Three. Okay, oh, he's got a nice ass. All right, we're gonna grab him. I mean, just a you know a man appreciating another man. It's it's fine. You see. All right, let's uh let's go into the town. Oh fuck. Well, you know what? I bet you could kill him with the Dust King on your back. That's fucking badass. Take his sword. Oh, that is so gangster. Jesus. That is really cool. Now I'm gonna sleep in the Dust King's bed. <laughs> just to piss him off. Holy cow, bossing is way fun. Oh, it's like RuneScape. Christ. Alright, let's go up the stairs, find out if there's anybody else. Oh, these might be better training dummies, too. Mmm... Max level 15? Eh, it's still not that great. Oh, what else do they have? They have other prisoners here I could beat up. I think one of those people we might even be able to recruit. What is your name? Cat. Oh, hey, new guy. Uh, he looks like a hippie. Wanna chat? I just get so excited when I see visitors talking to me. Not, not much to see here. Sometimes I like to count flies. Yada, yada, yada. You're not as interesting as Beep. That's great, but... Uh, okay, I just... Uh... Let me see if I can get him out of here. What happened to the Dust King? I just put him down, for Christ's sake. Oh, he's- of course, that makes sense. He went through the floor. Okay, Cat just joined our party because Cat, uh, didn't enjoy being imprisoned. So, I'm gonna grab the Dust- actually, no, you know what? Cat, you grab the Dust King. Cat, you can grab the Dust King, let One Punch Man do all of the fighting, and we'll see you on the way out. Damn, this is badass. I'm gonna keep his sword for a second. That is cool. I like bossing. Go do it. Yeah, man. Oh, it looks like Cat fell down immediately. Cat, I'm gonna make you into a robot. All the dust bandits are left in the <laughs> in the dust. I'm leaving them in the dust because they're dust bandits. There they go. Down with bad people. Okay, we're gonna leave Cat here and we're gonna bring back the Dust King to the police station because he's wanted. Cat will just have to find his own way out because he, he's pretty irrelevant to the story and I think it's mainly about One Punch Man. Now finally ridding the world of evil. I just want to say that the physics are on point. Really on point. Oh, it looks like that we lost the Holy Nation, uh, palette. You know what? It doesn't matter because bossing is a way more interesting 
and cool way to level our stats. So screw it, we're done cheesing stats, we're just gonna go through boss rush mode now. Okay, I got my reward for the Dust King. We brought him back alive, so now his thick ass isn't- this guy is really, really fucking built. Can't believe that we beat him, but I kind of like beating him as a skinny dude, so. So I have to, I'm like, we've come, we've come really far in just 57 short days. It seems like they've flown by, but I think we're going to continue going through the bosses now. I may as well just continue up the boss tree. Let's get rid of all of his shit because it's very expensive. We got bounties for the Red Bandit and Shade. We'll go after them next. Okay, Cat can just take care of himself however he wants. I'm going to worry more about One Punch Man. I'm going after Shade, who's the leader of the Swamp Ninja people or something like that. And he seems to reside around about here. So we're gonna head over to their base and see if One Punch Man is strong enough. Shade is a female Scorchlander, soft and floppy, a dagger-wielding ninja trash wanted for acts of theft and general deviousness. Please put her- <laughs> general deviousness? Please put her out of her pitiful existence where perhaps she might be reunited with her spine in the rotten, maggot-eating depths of the coward's death. Who writes these things? Last seen cowering in a raptor hole in the swamps. Okay, we're gonna go kill her. And it seems that she's wanted dead or alive, so I don't think it really matters. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted. Dead or alive. Okay, the swamp is really, really shitty. Ooh, we gotta swim. We gotta learn to swim at long last. Discovered village. Ooh. Holy cow, Kenshi is beautiful. I can't believe I never came here before. Really, the, you know, the villages are pretty varied. Just, I didn't give them enough credit, I think, when I first laid my hands on the game. I don't think we're gonna be spending a lot of time in these swamp lands, nor do they look that safe. Just judging by the escape routes, but we're gonna go right in for the shade and then get out of here, I think. We're a little further off, but we'll get to her soon. Oh, cat's getting attacked at home. I can't imagine, well, I guess because we killed the Dust King. I'm just gonna let him fight it off on his own, because he's, uh... He's a mature adult. He can fight his own battles. His own physical battles. Okay, we're in the South Wetlands, and this should be the location of Shade, the Scorchlander ninja evil thief lady. Well, here we go. We're at the Swamp Ninja base, and... Honestly, this reminds me of Mass Effect, or like, Knights of the Old Republic. I guess we'll just knock on the door? Nope, we don't even need to knock, we'll just open the door. Oh, there's a lot of them here. And from Naruto, I know that Chunin are more than Genin. Um... That's Shade right there. Wait, pause. Shade. You are one ugly son of a bitch. Uh... I know she's a woman. But she is. Now, let's attack everyone. Let's go for the weak ones first. The Genin are probably weaker from Naruto. Great job, great job. Okay, yeah, that works. Flying asshole move <laughs> works. Use the flying asshole. Okay, great. And great time to first aid yourself. Okay, for some reason they don't know that I want to kill them all. Well, I'm going to attack all of them anyway. And you, you totally look like somebody from Coder. Don't know who it is. Now let's speed through, see if he does... Oh, damn! Damn, look at him jump! Fortunately, they are not all attacking me at once because they are fairly strong. It does seem like... Ah, uh, they have decent shit on him. I'm not gonna go through and, like, loot all of them, but... Yeah, we're gonna win because they're just really fucking dumb. They are just so dumb. That is historical dumbness. Wow, they are individually fighting me. This is the stupidest group of ninja I've ever seen. Either that or they all are just really, really honorable. That they don't want to fight me in like a 20 on 1 fight. But I just killed their entire... What has your training even been for if you can't beat one guy who kicks you all in the face? Okay, now the ultimate test. Can I beat Shade? She is not... She wasn't even that strong. There is a giant... Mushroom elephant in the room, I just noticed as well. Called a swamp turtle? 
Is that thing sentient? Can we fight that? We could bodyguard it. I don't know if I want to attack it, but a little bit I do. But I also remember the last time I was eaten by wild animals. It was not very nice. Okay. Uh, is that shade? Nope. Where is shade? Let's just grab her and get out. Okay, and I'll be taking your leader and all of her shit. And goodbye. Let's grab her. Goodbye. Didn't like this place. Don't like your home. Let's beat up everybody here. Okay, we're going, we're going home now. Great place. Had a good time. Give me money. Great. Okay, they will take her alive. And did I get the money? I did get the money. Okay, let's get, uh... Oh, maybe he's got more, uh... Not confiscated books. I'm a bounty hunter. Humph, then hunt for it, hunter. Check the wanted put. Oh man, come on, dude. You're if you're taking in the bounties, you, it's like you're, it's your like you're playing a guessing game with your justice system with me. Um, do you have any confiscated goods? Oh, just that is great. I have no use for that whatsoever. Let's just sell off all the rest of this stuff because none of her gear was useful. We've had all these stealth items. Okay, the next two bounties that we have are for the Red Bandit and Ghost. Hang in there, cat. I think you might lose your leg. Don't- I can't- I can't understand why the shopkeeper did not come back with his medicine. In fact, you know what, let me just take a detour to make sure that cat does not lose his leg. Look at cat, just comp for some reason the floor is all black. And the limbs and the flies are the only things that have rendered in. But I find that oddly satisfying. We're gonna save Cat's- Oh no, Cat lost his- Well, I secretly wanted that to happen and I sort of planned it. Because we need our second person to be a robot as an homo- uh, as, a, to, as an homage? How come you pay homage, but it's an homage? Either way, whatever that is, to One Punch Man. So now we have a robot friend, as soon as we get him some robot things. And I think we're gonna go after Ghost, since he seems a bit closer than this red bandit guy. I just gotta say, damn, we were not this strong in the first video. Look at how much more toned and muscular I am. And I have a normal head now, too. Actually, I'm not hideous anymore. But it says that Ghost is a warmonger known to be camped in the spider planes as leader. So he's just a warmonger? What is he? What? He's just mongering over there. But he's so remote from everyone else. There's no way he could be causing this much trouble. Uh, well, let's attack his village nonetheless. And just see who, who is inside here. Are you... Bad people. Bad people. Okay, a berserker. I guess I might as well fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Let's attack you unprovokedly. Ooh, you have a big weapon. I have a big hand, though. Wow. So I guess the dodge doesn't- Ooh. Mm. <laughs> so satisfying. Well, that looks kind of cool, but ignoring it. Uh, is this better than mine? Nope, that's worse than mine. Okay, we're gonna leave that there then. Uh, another day of individually attacking everyone in the camp. Ooh, uh, more berserkers? Well, they seem very well armed. I guess they'd do well in war, but they're not doing too well because they're bad communicators. Where is this ghost guy? Maybe he's not even gonna show up. If he doesn't, that would be a real bummer. That's all I gotta say. If he just never showed up, but we killed everybody else in the camp. Eh, I would just go for the other bandit then. Oh, there he is! I found him! Ghost just sitting all nonchalant right out here. It's unfortunate that he doesn't have anything to say for himself. Before he dies. Oh, he is really rather strong. Hang on one second, I might not win this fight. Ah, uh, shit, wow. He is rather strong. Well, no, we just got one massive hit on him. Let's get out the other guy first, though. Attack this berserker and then- <gasps> No! Ooh, I just took a big hit. I just got my ass beat. I'll play dead for a bit, I'll take out the other one and then I'll fight him off. Because we should be able to win still. And we get the other guy, I'm down but it's just me and Ghost now. Is Ghost going to be able to kill me? I'm playing dead, Ghost is probably like touching my butt or something. Will I'm down? What will he do? Can my chest get better? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be able to beat this guy, right? Christ, he's pretty strong, actually. I, maybe I underestimated him. 
Okay, he keep, keeps spanking me whenever I get up, so I gotta wait here for a while. Just in this awkward position until eventually I get stronger again, and then I will kill him. I think Cat might have died. I honestly didn't- I have no idea what happened. Cat, I think, is dead, though. This is kind of twisted. I can't- I can't move. I, if I move at all, he's gonna spank me. I need to wait till I get up to, like, 50, 50 chest health. Okay, he's totally fine with me just leaving for a little while. I think I'm gonna put down my sleeping bag, just have a nap, and then kill him. Here we go, putting the camp bed down, just all nonchalant right nearby. Gonna go take a nap. I can't believe that my only friend died in the world. I'll find Beep at some point, or a ske- Really, I needed somebody who was a skeleton. That was my- that was my true vision. I didn't like that guy that much. I gotta say, I don't know how this guy is a warmonger. It says that his current goal is staying home, and he just sits there. He's so goddamn peaceful. I tried to kill him, and then he lets me live. That's like the- that's like the ultimate Taoist Chinese philosopher right there. This guy is not a warmonger. I think they got it messed up. I'm the one who cut off a guy's leg and then beat him in his bed to get stronger. So for our last act in our boss run, we're going to take this completely innocent man and just mercilessly beat him. Okay, and attack this innocent man again. How are we? How, I'm surprised that we lost this fight the first time. But now it looks like, I guess we just got unlucky because it looks like no contest now. That was kind of scaring me at first, to be honest. Um, Fragment Axe. This looks very good. I'm just going to grab all of his stuff and sell it. Uh, this stuff isn't so worthwhile, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, now that he's naked, let's pick him up and bring him back for looting. Okay, and we just made it back into Squin. We're going to return him here. Hopefully I didn't pick the wrong town. Did I pick the wrong town? Please don't tell me I picked the... Talk to, and we got the bandit bounty. Why are you so lazy, officer? And he's not going to help me out with anything, so we got our other bounty. We have 64,000 cats. This is by far the best way to make money, uh, I'm starting to think. We're going to finish off our house and squin. Maybe we'll find a skeleton companion to join us. I don't know, I'll see if it comes about naturally. Otherwise, ooh, fuck, I didn't mean to intrude there. Let's get a little bit more building materials, finish off our house, and... Whoops, I didn't need that. I'll sell you these. And give me one of those, and one of... Whoops, that's everything. Okay, we will finish off this house now. Do we have enough? Oh, uh, we have almost enough. Okay, so that's fine. We have a house in Squin going up, which is great, because we're collecting bounties there. We finally have more bounties that we can collect, and I think we're gonna go rid the world of evil by just running through the bosses now. I think he has enough strength that he can snowball his way through. We're at Martial Arts 39 going on 40. I want to see what happens at 40, and we can go all the way up to- who is the highest boss? The highest boss is Tin Fist- Tin Fist and the Anti-Slavers. Okay, so if we- if we- if we get up to that, it would be crazy. We'll see if we can get through all of it with just one character. I want to see how OP Sayatama can get. Saitama. Say Sayatama. Whatever he is, he's One Punch Man. I hope you enjoyed. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.